Welcome. This Maximo 7.6 training is brought to you by Benetti, your trusted resource for reliability and enterprise asset management with IBM Maximo. In this Maximo work order training, we will learn more about how to create a work order in Maximo. While going over some of the Maximo work order management basics. I am Joe Russell, a certified reliability leader and principal consultant at Benetti, retired US Navy engineer, as well as a 25-year practitioner of reliability for IBM Maximo. When taking a closer look at Maximo 7.6 work orders, there are many ways for you to create a work order in Maximo. We have PM generated work orders, quick reporting to create an in-process work order, and mobile work order solutions. Maximo 7.6 is designed to reduce the amount of time it takes to properly execute a work order from the planning stage to the completion of work. I will be covering the work order tracking application today. For this session, I will be logged into IBM Maximo as a supervisor. It is important to note that depending upon the Maximo add-ons you have, as well as your security settings, you may see slightly more or fewer options in your system than I will be showing you today. Let us begin our journey. From the Maximo Start Center, after logging into Maximo, you will be sent to your Start Center. Here, I will be showing you many ways you can create a work order. If I select the Maintenance tab, you will see under Favorite Applications, Work Order Tracking. Also under Quick Insert, you will have Insert Work Order. I could also, on the sidebar navigation, go to Work Orders, Work Order Tracking. This will bring us to the Work Order Tracking application. In the work order tracking application, you create and manage work orders for assets and locations. I will select work order 1002 with the work order tracking application. You have multiple tabs. Each tab has certain information relative to the work order's life cycle. Work Order tab. You see the top level information for that work order, including an asset number, location, description, type, and status. Plans tab is detailed information concerning the work plan. This includes the task to do the job, recommended crafts, and materials. Assignments tab is used to assign labor to the work order. Related records tab allows you to associate multiple work orders and service requests to the work order. Actuals tab is where you document what was actually done to complete the work order on an approved work order. This includes labor hours and materials. Asset meter tab 
If you have meters associated with an asset or a location, this is where you record your findings. Safety Plans tab has details of the safety plans added to the work order. Log tab is used to capture log entries and communications for the work order. Data sheet tab is used for calibration to record your findings. Failure reporting tab has maximal work order failure reporting details including problem, cause, and remedy. Depending on your business processes and configurations, you may only see some of these tabs. To create a new work order, you will select the icon New Work Order. As you see, IBM Maximo can be configured to automatically assign a work order number. The first step is to give a good description of the work to be done. All work is recorded against a location or an asset. This information must be entered on the work order. We will now select an asset by clicking on the details menu and select a value 1001 fire extinguisher as you can see the location is automatically filled in for that asset the next step is to select a work type this is critical for proper maximal work order management. Click on select value and pick CM. This stands for corrective maintenance. As you see in this example, as I fill out certain fields, other fields are auto-populated with associated information concerning the asset. You'll also see that the status of this work order is awaiting approval. Due to the maximum work order status cycle we are using in this demonstration. I will save the record now. This would be the minimum information needed on a work order. You may choose to develop job plan procedures that can be added to a work order. Instead of having to type out the procedure each time you create a work order, you can select Detailed Menu next to the job plan. This will bring a pop-up screen to search for a job plan appropriate for your work order. There are a couple checkboxes that you may use to sort for relevant job plans written for the location or the asset. I'm going to select job plan A1001 for this demonstration. Now you will select the job plans tab. As you can see, the job plan fills out the tasks, labor requirements, and tools required to do this job. You can also develop other templates like safety plans, 
inspection forms, just to name a few. Now you can approve the work order and assign it to one of your technicians. I hope this Maxmo 7.6 work order training helps you become more comfortable with the IBM Maxmo and Maxmo work order creation. If you still have questions, please contact us at info at